Awesome. So obviously you've re-signed for, the, for your childhood club. Uh, just tell me how that feels. Um, it's a bit surreal to be honest. Um, obviously I'm excited. I've, I've always wanted to play for Gloucester um, and then to extend it even further. Um, so, so yeah, it's exciting for me. I mean, I just want to get out and just play as much as possible for the, uh, for the club and just, yeah, hopefully get in front of a crowd sometime soon as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited for like what's next really. Yeah, and obviously, what, what sort of made you want to stay at Gloucester? Obviously, it is your childhood club, but I'm sure there's more than just that that made you want to stay. I mean, like I said, it's, it's where I've always grown up. It's, it's where I've always wanted to play. Um, as I said earlier in the year, just being able to play from once is a privilege. Um, and then now being able to re-sign and, and carry on playing for them, I mean, it's, it's all I've wanted and that's... It's supposed to have a draw, draw me to Gloucester and, you know, every opportunity, like I said, just to play in the show is, is a dream come true for me. So I just, yeah, it's the reason why. Yeah, and your family and friends must be so proud of you, especially after the year you've had. Yeah, I mean, definitely. In my family, I, it sort of means so much to me for them to, obviously, have been there with me through the whole way. Um, especially as well for them with COVID and stuff like that. I know everyone's going through a tough tough year um but like it just it's made me happy just to be able to like bring some real joy to their faces with you know this year and how things have gone and then obviously to have this at the end of it is um yeah it's really nice yeah you you mentioned it's been a challenging year but with that also brought up opportunities for you um how key was that to have that sort of run of games in the first team um and yeah i would guess you've got a taste for those opportunities and you want to keep getting them now yeah i mean Obviously, just to get the opportunity to play in the Leon game, for example, I mean that that was you know where I all I wanted from the year really was just to get a shot, um, and then obviously to get the run of games, just gave me an opportunity to really show what I was about, show my work ethic, and you know how hard I'm willing to try. Being a local kid, how much it actually means to me to get there, um, and just showing that to the club. And I mean, I feel like I did that um, for the year, and then yeah, it's just all I want to do now from. From on, from now on. Yeah, and it, it's quite different, Gloucester, isn't it? In the fact that there's such an emphasis put on the academy. How key do you think that is for the club to have this, you know, pathway of talent coming through? Oh, I think it's massive. I mean, for the future of the club, um, you know, obviously I don't know what the, the plan is for the future, but I mean, having as many academy kids coming through, it just shows, you know, the fans, um, everybody in the local area, youngsters. If you set your mind towards anything, you you can get there, and you can work hard enough to get there. And having that pathway is, you know, the more the more academy boys that you can get into the, the first team, you know, you, the fans are going to love it, and it's going to be exciting times in the next few years because there are a lot of a lot of people coming through um, and a lot of talent. So, yeah. Yeah, and obviously some exciting news was announced this morning about the new training facility. How excited are you to you know? start training in that when it's ready. I mean, yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> um, no, yeah, definitely it's gonna be it's gonna be unbelievable once it's all up and finished. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be a nice change of change of scenery, I think, uh, for a lot of players. And it's I think it's gonna bring a lot of energy towards camp. Um, but yeah, I think as soon as everyone gets in there and sees it all, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, and just just finally, just talk me through sort of um you know, what's going on now and into the run into next season? I mean, are you on some time off now? And when does pre-season start? And how do you sort of keep fit when you're enjoying some time off? Yeah, I mean, I'm having a, I'm having a few weeks off now, just away from it. Um, yeah, just away from all, just a bit of separation. Um, and then for me, I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to get a bit bigger, to be honest. <laughs> I need a bit more size. So, yeah, that's that's what I'll be, you know, focusing on over the, over the off-season. But, yeah, I mean, I'll just be weeks off working working hard to make sure I'm in the best place possible as soon as we get back in and then yeah from there just trying to push forward into you know when the season starts up again um so yeah that's what my plan will be so is that a plenty of mum's home cooking to help you up yeah <laughs> that's what it'll be yeah plenty of plenty of food